guys, what's going on? It is Larger here to read to you another entry in my diary. Actually, I think I'm going to be reading you a few. And you guys are going to judge me really hard for this, but someone on Periscope said I should read something juicy. And believe me, boys and girls, this is juicy. Alright, so to jog your memory, alright? Sharon is my best friend, okay? My best friend in the whole world in high school. Jeremiah is also my friend. He and Sharon go out, but Jeremiah likes me and Sharon likes someone else. <laughs> so it's like a very strange thing going on here, okay? All right, so let's get started. Believe it or not, this is the same day as I left off on in the last video. So this is Monday, November 29, 2004. Home, 2.32 p.m. Sigh. My locker wouldn't open. I tried like seven times. Jeremiah came behind and grabbed my stomach. Then went next to me. He was checking out my butt. It took me like a few seconds to realize that, so I moved and asked him to open my locker. It didn't work. He was still looking at my butt. It was upsetting because I have no butt. So why? Oh, never mind. Then when we went outside, he kept pulling my bag back and saying something weird, so I said, Do that one more time and you will get kicked. That's right, Larjay. Stand up for what's right. He said, Ooh, Larry and trying to act big now. Then he said, Wait, can I get one more look at your butt? I turned around in disbelief. I walked up to him. I wanted to kick him, but I just turned back around and walked away. Pause. This is sexual harassment. Okay, Jeremiah. First of all, you already got a girlfriend and she's my best friend. Second of all, I didn't want you looking at my booty, especially because I didn't really have a booty. I had a huge butt. <laughs> I had a huge butt growing up, but then I got taller in high school and so my butt kind of disappeared. Yeah, let's continue. I was on the phone with Sharon. She said Emily goes out with Ronald D. Ew, he's so annoying. Can't stand him. I told Sharon that I was talking to Trayvon about her, me, and Jeremiah. I couldn't tell her the whole thing though, because mommy was there. She said no more Zanger forever. Yeah right! I don't see why the people care so flippin' much about my thoughts. It can get the church in trouble, blah blah blah. Yeah, shut up. Mommy is bipolar. First of all, or is that second? Did I already say first of all? I am so sorry. Mommy, if you're watching this, I love you and I apologize for being so disrespectful in my diary towards you. I am Jamaican and those of you who are Jamaican, you don't disrespect your mother, especially the way I just disrespected my mother. What's wrong with me? You wanna get knocked upside the head? That was terrible. I don't know why I said that she's bipolar. My mother is not bipolar. Second of all, she was totally right. The stuff that I wrote about the church could get the church in trouble because it made the church look really bad. Again, I apologize for that and I have asked God for forgiveness, so please don't judge me anymore, okay? But I can't believe I, oh, that was so disrespectful. Anyway, that ended at 3.15 p.m. Wow, so it took me like 45 minutes to write this entry. <laughs> I never thought of myself as a disrespectful teen, you know, one of those teens who tells their mother to shut up and be quiet and I hate you and all that stuff. Of course I never did that to her face, but apparently I did that in my diary entries and that's not very nice. Teenagers, don't do that to your parents, okay? If Jaden ever try it with me, you see? 3.54 p.m. I just got belted. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means that my mother took out the belt and beat me with it. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. Maybe you disrespected her, Large. Now I have this huge red whale on my thigh and my hand. At first, I thought it was a joke because mommy came in laughing. Yeah, laughing because she's angry. I was on the phone, then she went and got the belt and started swinging. I was jumping all over the bed. I was still laughing, but I was terrified. My leg burns a little. What did I do? 3.58 p.m. Well, she probably read some stuff in my Zanga that she didn't see before. Hmm. Or maybe she figured out that I told her to shut up in my diary. I don't know. Mothers know things. 6.58 p.m. Gosh, does this day ever end? I'm still allowed to go on Zanga. Daddy probably didn't do something right. I think back then I had like AOL kids. I, I think daddy was supposed to like block the website or something so I couldn't go on it. 
but I don't think he did it right. <laughs> I didn't write in it though. I just put comments on other people's zangas. I got three comments for Saturday's entry and four for today's, all from different people. Everybody thinks that I can write my opinion if I want to. Yeah, everybody, they're all teens. They don't know any better. They're just as bad as I am. Jeremiah was really mad. I gotta go do my algebra homework. I'll try to print my Zanga out and paste it here. 7.03 p.m. And this is the last entry. You guys asked me to do a longer series recording thing. So I'm doing one more entry, okay? And then we're done. 10.26 p.m. I'm doing my social studies homework. I just remember what Woody said to me in algebra. We were sitting down. He said, hey, what's up, babe? Then we did our weird little high five. I didn't really think anything of it, but now I am. Dude, call me babe. What's going on? 10.30 p.m. Nothing's going on, Large A. He just called me babe because that's what he does. He also called me beautiful all the time. He didn't like me or anything. It's high school, and that's what guys do when they're trying to get into your pants. <laughs> So that's it guys, I, I really really hope that you enjoyed that. That was so hard because I switched up all the names and I have to write them in the diary and then look at them so that I don't mess up. Gosh, that was difficult. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have ever disrespected your parents behind their back. Caribbean kids don't really do that to the parents' faces. <laughs> but I know I did it behind my parents' back all the time. And that was just proof and I apologize again my mother if she's watching this I apologize I did not mean to call you bipolar you are not bipolar in Jesus name amen so thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next episode okay bye